Hi, and welcome back to Calorie Lab Online. As promised, we're going to continue with the theme of calorie corrected. What I want to look at today is to explain to you that calorie is not just a physical training, but it is body-oriented psychotherapy. So yes, through the practice of calorie, particu particularly the Northern style, you will improve physical attributes. You will become stronger, more flexible. You will improve your balance. You will improve your proprioception, your sense of body in space. But you will also, over time, be able to transform on a more emotional and mental level. You will be able to create the attributes of the warrior mind inside you. How does this work? Now, if we take a look at Northern Style, there are different lineages. The most common lineage that you will find most schools practicing is Maypayat, but a less common lineage is Kaikutipayat. Within the Maypayat forms, you have Arapukai and others. Within the Kaikuti Payat lineage, you have Pilatangi forms. Now, when we look first of all at the Pilatangi forms of Kaikuti Payat, what we find are very straight linear movements. Let's look first at this. Now what you have seen in this video is a slightly simplified beginner's version. When I slap towards the ground, in actual fact when this form is taken to its end form, or rather when you're doing it at, a, at, a, at an advanced level, you are actually slapping the ground and this gives feedback. But if you do that too earlier on, what you will find is you bend. If this is your legs and this is your spine, you bend down to reach the ground because the flexibility is not there in the body. So I've shown you a slightly beginner's version where I maintain this straight line and slap towards the ground. This is still effective and it will still have the transforming effect on the body mind. Now what is that effect? The effect is if you think of what the form is achieving physically, you're moving very directly forwards and backwards, straight linear movements. The effect of that is to create the same thing in the mind and in the emotions you become more steadfast, more direct, more determined, more resolute. This is of course very necessary for the warrior mind. Now, let's look now at a second set of forms, or rather one form from the Maypayat tradition. This is the Arapukai form. Now what you have seen again in this video is a beginner's version. In the more advanced version, the, f the positions, the vadivu, are taken lower down, particularly the lion pose. However, again, I have shown you a beginner's version as that is something that is more easy for you to access as a beginner. If you try and go too low, you will lose this direct line, which we discussed in our last video, is very important to maintain. So. Whereas the Kaikuti Payat forms, or particularly the Pilatangi form within that, is, direct, is developing direct linear movement, the Arapukai form from the May Payat lineage is about circular, soft, malleable, flexible movement. You will notice two main areas where this is relevant. First of all, in the opening and the closing of the chest in this plane. Second of all, in the opening and the closing of the body, particularly of the chest area, in this plane. So we work first in this plane and then in this plane. And what that does, it essentially develops a softness and a flexibility within the physical organism. And just as in the Kaifkuti Payat, what we achieve in the physical transforms to the emotional and mental, here it's exactly the same. What we achieve in the physical, this softness, this malleable flexibility, is achieved in the emotional and mental body. So through practicing the two sets of forms, you develop not only the physical attributes of being direct and being soft, 
but you also develop in the emotional and mental state of the body-mind this softness and this hardness. And what that means is both sets of attributes you can draw upon when necessary. In fact, as a student learning calorie from a young age, if you have a lethargic student, lazy student, you will give them more of this direct kaikuti payat, pilatangi form. If you have a student who is hyperactive, rajistic, overexcited, you will give them more of the soft form to calm them down. So the forms can actually be selected from and in that way can be used as a psychotherapy technique. For many people, classic psychotherapy doesn't work. To sit and discuss your problems, to go through it on a mental level, can actually make it difficult to reason through. Whereas, if you take that same patient and you give them these physical forms, you can actually transform the emotional and mental state of the individual through a physical starting point. Much like the theatre practitioners Grotowski and Stanislavski realised, you can transform into a character through starting with a physical starting point, not a mental starting point. The same is true for, for calorie. We use a physical starting point to lead to a change in the emotional and mental state. Okay, it's starting to rain here. Time to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this and we will continue with this next time. For now, Nalikana.